everything you'll need today is a pencil. You'll need a piece of paper to create your bubble map. And then this video. And you can pause this video whenever you need to while you're creating your bubble map. Tomorrow, we'll be using this writing paper to create our informative text about butterflies. You will be writing your own transition words. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So in all great bubble maps, we're always going to put our name on the top first. Then we're going to put our main idea in the middle. I wanna find that page in my text. It's going to give me all of the things that I wanna put on my bubble map because we're talking about the life cycle of a butterfly. I wanna make sure that I get every single step in my writing. So I'm gonna leave this off to the side so we can look at it. All right, so in the middle, let's go ahead and put butterfly. Life cycle. This is the main idea of our map. Then we'll add all of the key details of what makes up a butterfly's life cycle. And even included in our butter bubble map, we can add the transition words that we've been using. So let's look here at our text. It says day one, the female butterfly lays an egg on a leaf. Remember, female means girl. So the first thing that happens in a butterfly's life cycle is you need the butterfly egg. So we'll go ahead and put the first step up here. And we'll put a butterfly lays an egg. And if later you want to add more details to that sentence in your writing, you can. You can add describing words like tiny egg. Um, you can use describing words as where did she put her egg. In this text, it said she laid an egg on her leaf. That's something you can do later in your writing. But bubble maps can always stay simple. We just want the facts. So right now, the first thing in a butterfly life cycle is the butterfly must lay the egg. So let's go ahead and add our transition word, first. A butterfly lays an egg. All right, let's look at our text for what happens next. It says, in four days, a caterpillar hatches. It grows and grows. I like that. So we need to talk about the caterpillar next. So we'll use that transition word, next. A, and caterpillar is also a very long word. K, a, t, er, p, il, er caterpillar. So next a caterpillar hatches. And we'll circle that main idea. If in your writing later you want to talk about the caterpillar, you can tell me how he um, grows and grows or he eats and eats. You're more than welcome to. And if you want to add that little detail here, you can say it grows and grows. If you don't wanna forget that and you wanna add that detail to your light writing later, do it. If you don't want to, then don't add this little detail. This is your writing. You get to decide. So after my caterpillar hatches and after he grows and grows and eats a lot, let's look at back at our text and see what it says. It says here in two weeks, a caterpillar becomes a chrysalis. The word becomes, I think we could use a better word. What's another word we could say about what a caterpillar does? 
What does he do to the chrysalis? Does he build the chrysalis? I'm going to use that word in my writing. So first, next, I'm not done yet, so I don't want to say last. How about the word then? Then, and I'm still talking about that caterpillar. Then a cat -er builds. I'm going to use that word builds or you can use the word makes or becomes is what the text said. You get to decide. Then a caterpillar builds a, and then it's the word chrysalis. K, r, i, s, a, u, i, s. I'm gonna circle that idea. So I've got first, next, and then. I wanna know what happens next in a butterfly's life cycle. Let's look at the text. It says, in one month, a butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis. What's another word for breaks out of? Emerges, comes out, hatches. Those are all great ideas and you can use those in your writing if you'd like. So I'm going to say, finally, you can use the word finally. You don't have to use the word last, or you can use the word last. If you know how to spell last and you like it and it's comfortable for you, do it. Finally, a butterfly, but -er fly. I'm going to go ahead and use the word hatches again. Even though I used it when I talked about the caterpillar hatching, I'm gonna use it when I talk about the butterfly hatching from the chrysalis too. So I'm going to say, finally, a butterfly hatches. I'm gonna circle that idea and bring it back to the main idea. If you want to tell me about how he breaks free from the chrysalis, if you want to put the word chrysalis in here, this is your sentence. You get to decide. I wanted to try and make my bubble map as simple as possible so that when I use it tomorrow, it will be easier for me um, to read it and use it. Okay, so keep this for tomorrow. Make sure you've got transition words. Make sure you've told me all of the things that you need to do in a life cycle of a butterfly. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.